If you want to win in life, if you want to stop being average, then you need to stop procrastinating. We all sort of know what we need to do to get to our goals and dreams, but for some reason, we just don't do it. Why is that the case? Well, let me tell you a big reason why. It's because some people love the fantasy. They love to dream about, you know, making their goals happen. And that feels good. So they, if they actually achieve their goal, well, they don't have that fantasy. They don't have that dream anymore. But the I irony of it all is when you actually make progress and when you actually achieve your goals, it is the best feeling ever. It's way more fulfilling than imagining it happen. So I'll give you an example of someone who procrastinates. They wake up, they just sit in bed. They just stay in bed. They don't have any urgency to get up. Then they go on their phone. They know they should be getting up, having a good morning routine, but instead they just scroll, scroll, scroll. Then they get up and instead of like working out or moving or getting sun, they just once again stuck on their phone. The phone is the biggest killer because it stops at any momentum you're doing and it's you're pouring information that does absolutely nothing for you at least you're watching this because listening to this type of information it's, one you need a long attention span and two it's it's going to improve your life because if you apply these principles then you will see progress so once again the big the biggest killer is stop with the phone be present build healthy habits and routines like if i were you wake up get right out of bed, drink water, get some sun, read, have a book, always have a book ready and don't go straight to your phone. Read the book, build momentum. You start getting creative. You start feeding your mind things that could inspire you. So you have a, a direction of what you want to do. But if you're just stimulating yourself with your phone, it's going to dull you down. It's going to it's gonna stop you. It's it's stealing your dopamine. But the real dopamine is doing shit, productive, moving you forward. Now this might be um, pretty uh, intricate for you guys, but there's also now, once you get to a certain level, there's advanced forms of procrastination where, okay, you, you are reading the books, you are working out, you know, going in the sauna, doing cold plunges, which are good. Like it's better than scrolling. It's better than playing video games. It's better than like smoking or eating Cheetos, but you're still, if you're doing those things to run away from just doing the work, then that's an issue. So it's just, you need to get in your mind, act now. There's a mantra I have, do it now, act now. No thinking, you just do it. It's, a, it's an ingrained in your head and your thinking, act now. Do it now. Like, and you just say that all the time, all the time. So you might fall off a little bit. You're on your phone. Then your mind, your subconscious takes over. It says, act now. Then you do what you have, ever have to do. Send that email. Make that call. Make that content. Just do it. Do it because you don't have to wait. You don't have to think it. There's no perfect time. So I, I can see that if a lot of people watching my stuff, you're going to want to get super fit, super jacked, uh, make a lot of money on the internet, make content. It's a full-time thing. There's no, you can't just chill. You can't stop. And it's, it's a constant work. Life is work. And if you don't get that in your head, then you're always going to be lazy. You're always going to be taking the easy road, but life is work. Accept that, accept this truth. And it, it's, it's constant maintenance. It's constant, it doesn't stop. So don't run away from it. Because when you do procrastinate, you, you feel even worse. Because you know you're supposed to do something, you don't do it, now you feel self-pity, now you're hard on yourself, now you feel shame. And then you're like, oh, I wish I just did that. And then it's just worse. It's just a negative spiral down. But you could you can rewrite the script and you can just start doing what you're supposed to do. And whether you feel like it or not, that's where discipline comes in. Discipline is true freedom because you're not a slave to biological desires. You're not a slave to certain things pulling you and distracting you. Because if you're disciplined, you know you're doing it, 
at this time. You know you're going to get it done. That's true self-love. That's true, that's true freedom. And that is how you eventually, over time, transform your life and get everything you want out of it. So I hope this helps. I'm just kind of going on a rant because I just see this everywhere. And it's, it's really sad. So listen. It's really good that you're listening, but go do it. <clears throat> Take action. Change your life. It's that simple. There's no secret formula. Just do it. All right, so comment below any more questions you have. And make sure you subscribe. And I'm just going to be posting every day, maybe once, twice a day, just spitting out information. It, it could be all over the place. It could be structured. But let me know your questions. And because you're probably going to help someone else based on your question. All right, peace.